I'm Colonel Steve Messenger, Garrison Commander, Fort McCoy, Wisconsin. Today's the first day of gun deer hunting season. It is 10 degrees out here, and we have over a thousand hunters in our 60,000 acres of training land looking to bag their first deer. In addition, we have a number of Fort McCoy employees who are making sure we conduct this in a safe, responsible, and environmentally friendly way. Now I'm from Philly, I don't hunt. I just bought my first flannel yesterday. We're gonna go behind the triad with biologist Kevin Lupke at the deer data collection point and see what goes on with all these hunters as they bring them in. Come on. Hey Kevin, great to see you again. Hey, good to see you, sir. Thanks for How... inviting me out. Hey, so... not a problem, glad so... you were able to make it. So Kevin, what are we doing out here today? Uh, well, we're out here today uh, for the opening day of gun deer season 2022. Uh, and we're here registering deer or at least uh, collecting the data from the deer. Uh, our hunters will harvest deer out here, bring them through our collection station. So we're able to collect biological data that we are able to plug into our calculations and models so that we are able to maintain our herd at a healthy level. How many deer are out here in our 60,000 acres on Fort McCoy? Uh, this year, uh, we have roughly about 1,800 deer out here uh, pre-hunt. Once uh, the gun deer season is concluded, we'll have about 1,400 out here, and that's uh, right around 20 to 25 deer per square mile. Um, the 25 pre-hunt, 20 post-hunt. How long have you been working here? I've been working out here since 2005. I initially uh, graduated from college from UW-Stevens uh, Point, um, worked my way up through Colorado State University over 15 years, and uh, about three years ago I took a job with the Natural Resource Branch under DPW, and uh, from there, within the last couple months, I took the wildlife biologist position. Now. So, oh my gosh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, sir. So what's the, what's the really cool thing about working at Fort McCoy? Uh, Fort McCoy has some wonderful people to work with. I've gotten to know a lot of great people throughout the years. And honestly, uh, you, you look at this part of the state and it is absolutely gorgeous. And that's one of the main reasons I like uh, working here. So who's out here working for Fort McCoy today? Uh, myself, I'm the wildlife biologist. that will be overseeing pretty much the whole operation out here. Um, and we also have our Colorado State University uh, staff out here that are uh, assisting with the hunters and getting all the data that we need. Um, we also have uh, some employees through DES, our conservation law enforcement officers out here, uh, checking our hunters and making sure they're staying safe and doing everything ethic ethically. So. So I've never hunted before. I bought my first flannel yesterday. Do I look like a hunter? Uh, not quite. <laughs> uh, for state regulations, if you want to get out there hunting, you have to have 50% blaze orange above your waist. So if you would like to do some hunting, we'll have to hook you up with some more uh, blaze orange. I'm about 7%, I think, on my head. So. <laughs> All right, let's go out and see some of these deer. You ready, Kevin? Yeah, absolutely. All let's right. go. Come on. So you want the front end or the back end? I, I do not care. I'm whatever you do. I'll let you take the back end. It's going to be a little bit lighter. And we're going to move it right onto the scale here where we're uh, getting it nice and centered so we can get a good weight on this thing. Okay. What's a good weight for a deep, one of these bucks? One of these bucks typically right around 100, 130 to 160 pounds. Uh, so we get some bucks out here after being field dressed that'll weigh about 200 pounds. So right here we're looking at 153 pounds on this one. So now we're going to do an age on this deer. Can I cut this thing? Yeah, absolutely. So you want to take that knife, kind of push it up along the teeth, and uh, just kind of pull up on it. So you just put it in? Yep. You just saw it? Yeah. How far? Uh, keep going. And what we're actually looking for here is the wear on the teeth. Why? why? Why do we want to know the wear on the teeth? The wear on the teeth is actually going to tell us our, our ages. Um, we, we are able to uh, determine the age just off the wear and the replacement of these teeth. So what I'm seeing here is we got six full teeth, meaning it's an adult deer. Um, then I'm going to start looking at the front three teeth. Those are the premolars. And there we're going to really start looking at some of the wear right on the top of the teeth. Um, and from what I'm seeing here, I would put this uh, buck at the four to five year range. So also, we'll want to take some antler diameter measurements. 
and we kind of correlate these antler diameter measurements to an age also uh, where we've collected enough of these that we know when we get this diameter if we're unable to age this deer by looking at the teeth we can do a, a within a relatively narrow window of certainty of what age that deer is yet so okay so we'll take a caliper measurement here at the base and we're seeing 30 millimeters right there and we'll take one from the other uh, 90 degree direction and we're seeing 38 so we'll take an average of that 30 and 38 is going to be 34 millimeters four to five and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points yep. on that one. Woo. Yeah, that yeah. is a beautiful that deer. That is a great yeah. shot. Great kill. Yeah, all right, sir. Uh, so this is our CWD uh, sampling station here. Uh, this is one of our employees uh, through Colorado State University, Ricky Ratch, and he's going to walk you through how to collect some lymph nodes for CWD sample. Have you started out, I'll have you feel first here. So you have the corner of the jaw here. If you run down the middle, you'll feel kind of an Adam's apple-like structure. Yeah, I got that. Yep, so you'll take our knife there, and then we'll run kind of right between the end of the jaw and that Adam's apple. So you'll be running pretty much right like here. So I just slice it like, yep, uh, slice like it bread. Open. Yeah, yep, just I like step bread. step back, is it gonna squirt all over me? No, 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 no. you'll get some hair flying around, but that's all about right, so it. so you start sawing. Yep, yep. Go through it. So I like to saw a little bit, get some of that hair out of the way, because that's hard to cut through. Okay, just, all right. deep, just keep going deep? Yeah, you can keep going. And so, then you can cut around it, cut all that, yeah, that connective tissue there. Work around. Ah, this is what you do every day, huh? <laughs> well, like, during the gun deer season. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's what is a lymph node? It's all hairy. Yeah, it's all hairy. <laughs> right on the board there. Right. Like that. Yep. Well, I thought I would be a lot more disgusted. This is not as gross as I thought it was going to be pretty clean so we'll clean them up a little bit on the board there um, so you see you can see what's lymph node there and you see kind of all this little fat and a little bit of muscle there we like to just cut some of that away okay. and then these ones here you got one more step so each of these here you have a left and a right you'll cut them in half and then half of a left and half of a right will go together and then same thing for the other side half of a left and half of a right all right yep. so you just cut them right down the middle yep cut it right in half be ready for Thanksgiving. That's gross, Ricky. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Urgh. This is uh, not cool. <laughs> All right, right, and you said you just split them, right? Yep, All yep, right. yep. Yeah, so what the lab's going to do is they're going to keep one section of those lymph nodes uh, in one of these baggies as a, a backup, and then they'll test the other uh, side. So if they get uh, not not yeah. precise results uh then they'll test the other uh, uh portions that we collected here so all right so i have learned a ton about hunting here on fort mccoy if you're looking to come out and participate in this sport check out the website below go to iSportsman and come on out hunting fishing we got our ski hill opening soon we got a place to camp and we'd love to have the community out here involved and if you're looking for a job fort mccoy is so much more than training soldiers we're running a city out here. Great place to work, great people to be with. We hope to see you soon behind the triad.